Welcome to the Love and Sex Today Show with Dr. Doug Weiss. Doug has been healing hearts and relationships for decades. He's helped thousands of people release the shame and the guilt, restoring hope, helping people get free from addictions to enjoy a better sex and love life. Here he is, your host, Dr. Doug Weiss. Welcome to Love and Sex Today. I'm Dr. Doug Weiss, and I will be your host for our sixth conversation. Today's topic is going to be flush away your toxic anger. And this is going to be a great topic because throughout our lives, you know, we have periods where we can get really angry about something. I mean, life, relationships, people, vocations. I mean, there's lots to be angry about. And we're going to talk about how you can move through some of these really big chunks of anger that you might have experienced. And this is something you're probably going to want to share with some people because how many of you know someone who's really angry? And, and they're angry all the time. So before we get into the topic today, I, I want you to remember to go to loveandsextoday.com and subscribe. And then go to iTunes and write us a review. Uh, and one of you who writes a review will be picked for a conversation with yours, truly priceless conversation to accelerate your life in some way. I look forward to getting to know one of you really well. Also, if you go to the webpage, Love and Sex Today, there'll always be a chapter of one of my books there for free because we want you to have a great life. We want you to have better love and better sex today. So please help yourself to that. And that will be fantastic. Now, let's get to the topic. Flush away your toxic anger. Now, just go through your life. Let's, let's talk about this for a minute. I mean, there can be anger from mom and dad. I mean, they might have neglected you, might have been abuse. There might have been where they weren't available for you. They weren't there for you. Or maybe they shamed you and told you you couldn't be anything, couldn't make it. You would be legitimately angry. Now, sometimes in our culture, we think anger is illegitimate. A lot of times, the anger that you carry is legitimate. It's legitimate there's been neglect or abuse in your family of origin that you would have anger. Let's talk about some bigger things that could have happened to you. Maybe you were sexually abused. Maybe you were raped. Maybe there was some kind of sexual injury that you had happened to you that would legitimately cause you to be angry. And again, it's legitimate. Let's talk about issues of the heart. You gave your heart as a teenager or as a young man or as a young woman to several partners who maybe weren't the best choice, and maybe they've hurt you in some way, maybe they shamed you in some way, and you have a lot of anger about that. Maybe in, as a high school or junior high school, you were bullied by a lot of people, and you got a lot of anger about that. Maybe you were the, the kid who got picked on because of your size, one way or the other. You have anger about that. You know, Maybe you got into uh, an engagement, and, and they left you at the altar. You have anger about that. Maybe you, you found that your boyfriend or girlfriend cheated on you. Absolutely. That's legitimate anger. Okay, they said they were going to be you know, true to you, and they weren't. They broke your heart. Maybe even worse, you went into marriage, and then one day you found out that your spouse was unfaithful, maybe through relationships, emotional affairs, pornography, social media, you name it, past girlfriends or boyfriends, and that can destroy your heart, and you would be legitimately angry. Maybe you've had bosses try to uh, take advantage of you in some way or even religious leaders or social leaders of some kind that you really trusted, coaches or other people like that. And they not only let you down, they kind of hurt you. And so you've been carrying this anger for years and sometimes decades and sometimes multiple decades. I've had people carrying anger from 30, 40, 50 years ago. And it's real common for us to deny that we're angry. I mean, but look at your body. Are you carrying extra weight? You know, are you depressed? Because one of the reasons people get depressed is they have this unresolved anger and they carry it. And it takes more and more energy of your body to hold that anger in your body. And it's kind of like holding a beach ball underwater. The longer you do it, the more strength it actually takes to do it, which robs you from the energy to do other things. And we even even talked about the anger that's involved with just grieving. Someone you died, a life change happened. Maybe you had a significant health shift. And you're grieving. And part of that grieving is you're really chapped about this change in your life. And you don't like it. You don't want it. And it's hard for you to accept. And you're angry about it. Well, no matter how you're angry or why you're angry, today I'm going to give you a prescription that I've used in my clinical office at Heart Heart Counseling Center at Colorado Springs. And we've used this for, I mean, over two decades. And I'll never forget the first time I used this exercise. I was in a psychiatric hospital with a teenage girl who was 
I mean, ravagely sexually abused multiple times by multiple people. And um, she had several diagnoses. And as I was going through her history, it was just so horrific. And I was a, a you know, master's level student. I'm like, what am I going to do with this? But one of the overriding things that was going on with her, she was angry. I mean, she would have to be restrained regularly. She was out of control. And so my intuition told me, hey, there's something she needs to do here. And so we did what I'm going to show you what to do today. And she started to become sane. She started to make better choices. She was able to literally peel off a lot of the trauma that was happening to her. Because see, trauma, like many of the things we talked about here today, affects you in your spirit, your soul, and your body. And your body can actually hold the key to releasing it. Because oftentimes, you know, you go to counseling and you'll talk about it and you might feel a little bit better, but you're still acting wounded. That's because your body still is carrying the bullet. So today I want to talk about removing that bullet of anger. I want you to be able to flush away that toxic anger because at this point it's hurting you. It's not hurting the other person. So I'm going to give you an exercise to do. Now I will say this. If you have any heart issues, talk to your doctor first. Make sure you get permission to do this. If you have any health concerns whatsoever, talk to a physician before you do this exercise. Okay. And it's so powerful. I mean, I've done this myself many times. I mean, some of you heard my story in er earlier conversations that we've had, you know, conceived in adultery, uh, sexually abused, abandoned, put in foster homes. I had a lot of legitimate anger. And when I got to this part in my healing and my journey, it changed my life. I think I was doing this for seven to 10 days in a row because I had a lot of people I was angry at. I mean, I had three dads. I mean, all kinds of stuff that you can imagine I had to, I had to get engaged with to be able to be well. And that is what we're doing this show for. We call it love and sex today, but really, if you can heal, you're going to have better love and better sex today. And if you got toxic anger, it's keeping you from an incredible love of, of yourself, of others, and it's definitely impacting your sexuality. So get your pen and paper today because it's something you're going to want to write down, something you want to share, something you want to give to other people because this really, really works. This can save you a lot of money in counseling right here. I know I've saved thousands of people. I mean, I've saved people thousands of dollars just doing this. You know, people flying from all over the country uh, to come see us at Heart Heart Counseling Center in Colorado Springs. And, and when they do, they do three and five day intensives. And this is often one of the things they'll do on Monday because they're so clogged up with rage. So let's get to it. I'm going to give you four steps. Well, before we get to the steps, make a list of the people you're really angry and hurt at. Just make a list. Might be five people, might be 25 people, it doesn't matter. And maybe you, you want to prioritize those. Like, okay, these are the really, really angry ones. And these are the kind of medium angry ones. These are kind of the smaller angry ones. Okay, great. You can start with the smaller ones if you want to, because you'll get really good at the exercise by the time you get to the really big ones. Okay. So, number one, what you want to do, pick one of those people and write an anger letter to the person. Now, you will never send this. I actually encourage you to destroy it after you're done. So it doesn't show up in your future. Uh, it's not about the other person. This is about healing your body. This is about you flushing your toxic anger. It's not about trying to get someone to agree with you about your offense. Okay, it's, it's healing you. So number one, write the anger letter. Now, when I tell people to write this anger letter, I say, imagine going in a room, this person strapped down, gagged up, and you could just go totally off, totally off. You know, don't, don't censor your language. Don't censor, you know, yourself in any way. Don't make this about, I love you. I forgive you at the end. That's not what we're doing. We'll do another, we'll do another conversation. Actually, our next conversation is going to be about forgiving others. So, you know, hang on to that. Let's, let's get to that in another session. But number one, write the anger letter. And I mean puke. Let's suppose the, the person whose name's Francois. Francois, you pig. How could you do this? I hate you. Da, 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 da. I mean, just go off. Just go off. Let that sludge that's in you get out of you. Okay. So number one, you write the anger letter. Number two, and you can do this on your own. You know, you want to read the letter out loud. Now, before you do this exercise, give yourself a good hour after you've written the letter to be alone, to be able to do this or be with a support person. Or you can even do this in a therapist's office like they do in my office every week. So you write the anger letter. Number two, you read the letter out loud. And this is really important to read it out loud. You'll get in touch with some of the emotions of it, but you will also, your brain will know kind of where you're going for step three and four. Now for step three and four, you're going to need some, a little bit of equipment, a mattress and some kind of batter racket that's not going to break. Okay. You don't want anything wood because it'll break. 
because when you engage your anger really at this level, you're going to be incredibly strong. Okay, so get something safe. In my office, we have these padded bats. We got a padded block. It works fantastic. Most people at home use a mattress and some kind of racket that they can get their hands on. That's not going to hurt. Or go to Sports Town or a sports store of some kind. And they often, sometimes they'll have those uh, encounter bats, you know, like for karate and stuff like that. Great thing to use. They're not very uh, expensive. Perfect. If you've got a lot of people to do, I would invest in that. So, you know, and, and again, you might might have been through a divorce. I mean, I, everyone who's been through a divorce usually needs to do this exercise. So. Write the anger letter. Read the anger letter out loud. Number three, warm up. Get your get your bed or your racket and your mattress. Okay, and I wouldn't use the mattress you sleep in. I would use somebody else's mattress somewhere else in the house, guest room, kids' room, something like that. Warm up a little bit. You know, take that racket, hit hit the bed, small, medium, large, extra large. And this may sound crazy, but if you do this, it really works. Use the word no just to warm up your voice. No, 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 no. And again, make sure you're alone. If you're in an apartment, put a note on the on the door that says everything's okay. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> And then number four, go totally ballistic. I mean, go totally out of control. Because what you're doing is this anger, this trauma is like a three-dimensional wound. And anger unifies you three-dimensionally. So you're lacerating it with the anger and you're letting that pus and rage out. Now, and you can do this. This may take you 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. But you will literally feel like your body kind of go when you're done. You'll feel the release. It won't be there anymore. It's like getting over a cold. You won't be able to access that rage from that point anymore like that. And if you do that, what we're going to talk about in the next uh, next conversation about forgiving others, you're going to be able to really walk free from a lot of trauma, a lot of abuse, a lot of pain, a lot of things. I call them bullets that have hit your life. I had a lot of bullets hit my life. But if you were to look into my eyes right now, you wouldn't see them because I took them out. And see, it's my job to take them out. You can stay angry at your perpetrators and the people who hurt you your entire life. And you can judge them and, and, and keep yourself jacked up, stuck, I mean, plaqued with this stuff. It's totally unnecessary. So I want you to do this exercise, okay, so that you can be well. This is your job to get yourself well. It is not anyone else's responsibility. There was no one to help me get well. I had to make a decision. And when you make that decision, right things come into your life. And like this podcast came into your life today to take you to the next step. And please listen to many of the podcasts. And I would encourage you, don't forget to go to loveandsextoday.com. Subscribe there. Write a review in iTunes for us. Tell us how this is changing your life. Tell us how this is helping you take uh, next steps to having, you know, a greater relationships. And remember, one of you is going to be chosen for just a one-on-one conversation, a priceless conversation with yours truly, Dr. Doug Weiss. And we're going to be able to really uh, maybe accelerate something in your life. I'm the executive director of Heart to Heart Counseling Center. Our phone number is 719-278-3708 if you need to get in touch with us in any way. And as always, get your free chapter on love and sex today. And remember, always have great love and great sex today. That's it for our episode of Love and Sex Today with Dr. Doug Weiss. Head on over to loveandsextoday.com and be sure to subscribe to the show on iTunes. When you do and you post a review on iTunes, some lucky listener is going to win every single month a private confidential coaching call with Dr. Doug Weiss. Also, feel free to ask any question you like. You can push a button, speak your question, and Dr. Doug will answer your question in a future episode. So be sure to subscribe to the show. Doug's got some great gifts for you, and we will look forward to seeing you next time.